Game five possession. Yes. Ooh. Oh boy. Let's go. Possession return all their encampments. Possession advisor. Is that encampments? We've got Puka. Upgrade Devil's Worship Conspirator Apprentice. <laughs> oh no, I should have banned possession. <laughs> The They're gonna like agree to play it. without it or something, right? The realization. The re realization. Yes. I don't have possession banned because I actively like playing with it, but I understand it's not for most people. Possession herd immunity. No, I like playing with yeah. it. Like every time I get a possession board, I'm like, "Ooh, this is gonna be interesting." And then you discover some brand new bug. <laughs> I remember. I remember See, someone Dr. Kale's got the right idea. Someone posted a possession um thing with recruiter and merchant guild. It's like Uh oh. Dr. Kale has never played with possession. Sounds fun. KHC, you're right. What do you actually open here? Oh, uh, Monster, do you want to message them and tell them that Slash Undo still works in, uh... Yeah, I will... I will ping. In possession mode? In League. It's definitely too early for potion. Like, you're gonna draw like this. Well, the thing about possession is you don't want to add the potion to your deck until you think you can actually draw six potion, which is effectively like drawing a province if potion was a silver. First gold could spike in early possession, but I don't think I'm taking a... Um, potion until I've gotten an apprentice and maybe an upgrade. Yeah, upgrade looks also pretty essential. Apprentice and upgrade look great. Um, one of the things about possession is it's better if you don't have much economy and you just yep. play a bunch of possessions. Uh, so you want to build a deck that builds up to possession and then trashes itself back down to having very little besides possessions. Yeah, also, we're both playing our cursed golds here. So. Yeah. And be careful about playing cursed gold till you have deck control. Got a top deck potion, aren't they? Well. I mean, cursed gold is in the threes, so. And they hit. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it, ladies and gents. We're fucking going. Possession time. Woo, possession star chart. Oh, yeah, it doesn't really do much here. Their deck's <laughs> totally fumbling, but it's fun. Possession go woo. doesn't like taking a turn with their opponent's deck. <laughs> the mythical possession forage pin. <sighs> Someday it'll be possible. Well, we're going to have real possession donate pins when we get our errata. Yep. Or, you know, the...
Has my internet frozen, or is this just a slow moment of contemplation? This is a big thing. Upgrade. Okay. Upgrade's a good card. Perfect deck. <laughs> Magda has reached the ultimate form. What are you going to do? Possess them back? Their deck doesn't do anything. <laughs> Got zero money. Zero gainers. Just possession. So what's the plan on this kingdom? Uh, I think you start with Apprentice and Upgrade. Then you get into the possession encampment kind of game. Develop looks good. Advisor looks good. Once you have a lot of advisors... And consider yeah, conspirators think, if you want economy. Yeah, I think conspirators eventually for economy, and then it is. You can upgrade them yeah, away. Pile up the provinces. Also, plunder. Um. But what? Duchies? Huh? I oh. mean, duchies make some sense against a possession deck. Make your deck shitty. But so Aglet has deck. the possession. No, against a possession deck. But the problem is, Aglet's deck plays possession like once every couple minutes. You don't have to worry about getting possessed every turn. Yeah. No deck control. Um, so, it's you don't need to green early like you often do against possession. Doing a lot of thinking. Right? They bought a decent number of develops. The campaign seems better than silver there. Theman, it is 2-2. Two, two. What up, Theman? Okay. Seven. Oh, Provincing already? Is there's not a lot of building going on here. Unfortunately, building goes away. Yep. Draw looks pretty good here. Draw is good. You've got a bunch of good draw cards here. That control is just like a state of mind, man. <laughs> Four develops and yeah. I know I'd want some draw. Especially as Aglet as Aglet has the possession. Duchy state curse. That would be a funny pile out. Just a potion? Uh, okay. Seems a little strange. Mocha, the way to be good at playing with possession is just to play a bunch of possession games. I 
it's totally possible to be good. Who's the big possession fan? Is Cap playing a fan? I forget. Cap thinks it's fun, but like only a little bit. Sif was the OG possession fan. Uh. <laughs> oh man, DZ, I've been like reading a bunch of stuff about AlphaGo and like other AIs recently. Like if only I read the AlphaGo get... paper. If only we and can all get... I want right now is to yeah, like adapt AlphaGo for other games. Like I want to get to the point where it's just gonna be like, oh, let's check with AlphaGo for whatever stupid game we're playing now. Like, I want to see how AlphaGo plays, like, Street Fighter. Yeah, like, the point where you can just interface with any arbitrary game, that would be so cool. Just, like, I wonder what perfect play looks like in this game I just learned about ten minutes ago. Okay, but, like, if we get OpenAI interested about in Dominion, you know, just throw a few hundred thousand dollars at it. Yeah. I'm just curious what it looks like. And you're like, here's all the ways that you're messing up. Okay, but like, also the thing is, once you get into like, video games, you have to like, put restrictions on the AI as to what inputs In it can do. reaction times, I know. Because you, I you know. get you get perfect play in like, Mario Kart, and you have it doing like, all the frame perfect tricks. Well, <laughs> I, like... that's what... I kind of, like, want to see what a computer would do there. Like, well, what then, weird stuff is it going to well, find? Well, then you can look up tool-assisted speedruns and... Oh, I've seen yeah. lots of tests, but, like, what I'm saying is, what would happen if we had a computer make a test? Yeah, that would be... That would be cool. Demon, yeah. Um, Demon is, uh... An AI that tells you exactly how much you screw up. Yeah. yeah, that's what chess is like too. You you have engines that can tell yeah. you how much of a mistake they like after you play games, you can have them like rated by the engine, like it'll be like minor mistakes, like big mistakes and blunders. Yep. So here um, we're getting provinces upgrades. It's Dr. Kelly gets a potion. Okay. Estates provinces. We're just getting a lot of green. Yep. Got to go. Oh, Go. Go is a really, really intriguing game. Dude, I played the uh, a game of Go today. I haven't played a game of Go in like three or four years. I played against a computer. I got molly whopped. Oh my Computers. gosh, yeah. I have no idea of like what the strategy is for Go. I just know like how to, it's a really good how to do a legal move. Oh, so that's you, all I know. <laughs> you might really like Go because it's a very simple axiomatic system with a couple of rules and then just a and ton of emerging maybe structure. at some point try implementing an AI for it. Yeah, I mean, just writing a program that lets you play Go against someone else is like more non-trivial than you'd realize. The I mean, rules with, are very with simple. All, with, the move, with the rules about like moving back and forth, yeah. But also scoring is like a little more complicated than you'd think once you actually start like writing out the code. Yeah. Like chess seems more complicated. It's got more edge cases. Well, chess and it's is got a lot of like, like making sure that a move is legal. Like Yeah, chess does have a bunch of edge case moves though. Chess is weirder and has a lot more structure in terms of like base rules. But somehow I find it easier to write like a because two-player game you where you play chess than go. Once you implement all the rules, then that's kind of it. Like you implement like, oh, you can do and pass, and you can castle. Game theory map and go in. I bet. You should, like you should send me some links on that, Mocha. That sounds fascinating. Yeah. Send them to oh. to coding. Yeah, we have this slow possession slog going. We're on turn 22 now. Oh. So, Ag looks in good position to take it. Um, yeah, it's... Close them. Dr. Know, Kayla has a bunch of treasures that, you know, now... Are a weapon against them. Yep. Ag was using them to get provinces. I mean, this is the thing about possession. It lets you play a deck where your deck sucks, and you possess the other person, and they did all this building. 
and they build a or new deck for you. buying a lot of money, and it's like, yeah, here we go, potion or devil's workshop to duchy, probably potion. So devil's workshop, okay, patrol is just it's way too late for that. You need points. Why are we buying more patrols? There? What? Is she buying an encampment? Okay, no, they're they're trying to pile estates. Um, but yeah, it goes fun. I might get back into it. I don't know. It, it's frustrating to me in a way that chess isn't. Go is like, how are all these people better than me? The rules are so simple, what? No, I'm fine with that part. <laughs> yeah, but it's just, how are people good at Go magic? Nah, they just start playing when they're really young, <laughs> and they're really talented. That's the trick. Cursed gold, big money. That's his curse gold. I think you do buy a Puka. Give me a second. <laughs> Has anyone simmed it? I'm doing it right now. Oh, are you gonna just quickly write a sim? Alright. Yeah, it's it's not hard. I don't use the sim much. I've seen Geronimo added a bunch of stuff recently, didn't he? Looks like Puka beats BMU. Ah, neat. Oh, estates piled. The state curse develop pile out. That that could be a plausible ending. But I mean that's what happens in the slog. And to answer your initial question, uh, it's seventeen point three turns to four provinces, which is roughly on line with uh, regular money, what, which takes a, around seventeen turns. No, just or... just cursed gold BMU. Oh. So yes, Puka does speed it up a decent amount. Um, specifically, adding one Puka speeds you up from seventeen point three turns to. Fifteen point nine. Nice. So you're saving over a turn from having a puka. Nice. There are no good hands. Yeah, of course Aglet's not they have a possession in their deck and like nothing else but like <laughs> random other card. Dr. Kayla come back. Let's see it. Just have to hit eight. They're clearly weighing upgrades. Okay, yeah, that's the correct decision. Oh. Okay, this should work. Um, you play, you put patrol on top, upgrade and upgrade into anything, play the patrol, yep. and then you win. What? No, no they just crashed the patrol. <laughs> okay, please tell me that was a misclick. Uh, uh, Come on, Dr. Kayla, you can do Wait, no. what? No, you gave up the win. No, there What's was happened? a win. Ah. Ah. No, no, oh no. Oh, and they got a four silver <laughs> hand possessed. <laughs> what is this game? Oh, that's so sad. No. The, they had the win in hand. They had the win in hand. What an ending. <laughs> oh no. All right, can they take it back in game six? I can't believe that ending. Oh my god, that's very unfortunate. You hate to see that happen. Next game will have Swindler. I haven't seen a Swindler <laughs> game in a really long time that wasn't like six-player Swindler. I would love to commentate, not actually play right. a, a fun Swindler oh, game. Oh, man. There. It's not here. It's not. Uh, we have four on Counting House, though. Ooh. That's fun. But we have Chapel, so it seems a lot better to just get rid of your copper. This is kind of a strange board. Um, there's a bunch of powerful cards on it, but they don't really come together in anything. I, 
I thought Sacred Grove, Sacred Grove was Sanctuary, and I got so excited for a second. That would definitely be a lot. Like, Sanctuary and Chapel just being on a board means you can play a golden deck. Whereas, like, yeah, this looks pretty money-ish. Yes. Yeah, um, you want a Chapel, you want Sculptors for sure. Probably want some Forums. Um, <laughs> or Ill-Gotten Gains Counting House for the memes. Yeah, there's like an IGG Counting House Forum deck here. That, but I don't think it wins. I'd have to... What do you think, Minion Pawn? Like, what are you going for? There's, there's no villages. Well, besides Sculptor. Kind of. There's there's no villages and there's no draw, which is makes it hard to build too big here. Yeah, I think Ig Counting House, Mimi as it is, could be the best. No, best not with Chapel around, dude. Okay, Chapel. Well, if you trash down, then you play money. I mean, you play money with Sculptor and probably a Sacred Grove and some four. Yeah, but it's still gonna be money. So now yeah. that sculptor can sculpt really good cards. Yeah, Grover Peddler sounds amazing, <laughs> but like then you realize that the plus buy is super duper limited. Worried about the wedding. I've seen people at low levels buy way too many weddings. Why is everyone getting married? <laughs> this time no way. Wonder how much flag dancing there's gonna be. Oh, hey, crab cat. Yeah. Forum is definitely great. You wanna sift. Yeah, so with chapel, you wanna trash usually your whole hand. Maybe you leave one card behind. Ooh, we we can trash these flag bears. Ooh, fun. So Agla looks like they're getting into the lead. And we do see a flag fight. So here, Chapel, trash your whole hand. Well, you actually can't because you had flag. <laughs> <laughs> but you can leave one flag bear, I guess, to trash later. Is that better or worse than copper? Wait, why just one estate? Wait, what are you keeping the other estate around for? Huh? I don't get the holding on to estates. I do not get it. Well, who doesn't like a wisp? Ooh, wisp party. What do we think? Like two forums? Forum sculptor? Forum forum looks good. Right, Dr. Kayla, okay, so... There's also a bind canal, which I do want at some point. Yeah, two, two forums. Nice.
So Kayla can take the flag back here. They're willing to use up their action on chapel. Which looks pretty good considering they still have a couple coppers floating around. Yeah, I think they're trashing the flag and a bunch of coppers is good. Got the sacred grove for economy. Not sure what the spinning is accomplishing. Other than top decking a copper. Wait, why would they buy a flag there? They just took the flag. What? Am I reading the log wrong? Wait, they own. Oh, you can trash it for the flag. What? Wait. But they trashed it for the flag. I don't understand that. That's weird. Yeah, they did, Themen. The man. Very confusing. Why would they do something like that? Suppose they didn't notice that uh, they had gotten the flag from trash chain? Seems quite strange. Then he can trash this flag bearer. Yeah, playing the Wisp Blast <laughs> lets you draw your whole deck. Why did we buy... Hmm? Uh, Dr. Kayla just bought another flag bear on their turn. Again. I, mean, I get they want the flag. Trash but... and buy. But they already had yeah. the flag. So you're right. buying another flag bearer to trash it again? That, like, you can delay it buying a turn to get it by buying it. I'm just very confused. I think they might not understand that um, they got the flag. Flag bearer is Donald's new least favorite card. Change my mind. With Lurker, this flag fight could be really extensive. Oh, yeah. Gain it back. And... Trash one from the supply to gain the flag, which looks a lot better than actually buying a flag there. Yeah, Lurker, flag bearer, and the trasher makes for a really funky time. Peddler. <gasps> yes, please, to Peddler. Pedal, 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 pedal. Peddler is selling many things. We discussed Snake this in oil. Discord recently. Snake oil. Yeah, Peddler's the main thing she's holding up does in fact say snake oil, but she clearly has many things for sale in her cart. Among them bags. <laughs> and not cast iron pans. Yep. Yes, the Peddler's being a 10 is bothering me too. Why would you trash a grove? Why not? That seems very risky. Now your opponent can get it from the trash.
Oh, do they have two lurkers? Let's see. We're going to find out when they play this Wiz, probably. Oh, let's see this. So we're just greening now? Yeah, I think it's greening time. Yep. Uh, apparently it's more wedding time, though. Why'd they buy a gold instead of buy a wedding? They missed out on free VP. <laughs> yeah. It's a small... Small missed way. Why would you gain a flag bearer? You could trash one from the supply and gain and get the flag just as well. <sighs> Many questions, DZ. Why is there one sculptor gone? Why are there ten peddlers in the pile? Why has no one bought Canal? So many questions, so few answers. That seven could have been Canal instead of gold as well. Why are we still playing Chapel on turn 12? So here you toss Chapel Copper, play Grove, get a Ooh, lucky boom, five. double. Oh, yes. Oh, that's We're great. We're in this. Oh, that's lucky. Oh, yeah. Okay, if they do find the grove. Yeah. But that denies the plus buy boon from the other. But yeah, the third buy isn't really necessary. But still, sometimes. By lucky, I mean it I... got it. It was a money boon, and yeah. so it didn't go to their opponent as well. Yeah, Nocturne Love Squad. Come on. Right. Also, like. I remember one time I got a win just because I got the plus buy boon off Pixie. Yeah, Forest Gift can be really temperamental like that. That That's just Nocturne for you. And it was the only plus buy on the board, so that was a huge swing. I low-key hate it when that's a factor. Yeah, that's just that's the worst part of Nocturne. Is like sometimes you're like, there's no plus buy on this weight. I have a 1 in 12 chance. Yeah. Design is Those are those great. are stressful games. So we'll aglet buy a province here and risk it for the biscuit, perhaps like sculpt an estate. I think I think the risk is risk is justifiable. Okay, so now, Dr. Kayla. Kayla needs to find their grove, and then they need eight points, nine points to win. Yes, yeah, so that's Province Duchy Estate. Province Duchy works fine. Oh, yeah. They do not find their grove. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, man. That's it. See, with Canal, Sculptor can sculpt duchies, which seems really important in the end game. Yeah, that would have really changed it around. Aglet could have increased their lead even more. Alright, so this should win. Yep, in hand. And here it is. G, F, and G's. All right. Well, as always, thanks to all our listeners, and yep. thanks for commentating with me, Monster. Thank you. Hope the, hope the players learn some stuffs. And, and see you uh, around. See you on the other side.